Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another Java GUI tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you about the J slider. And a J slider is basically um you can it's a little thing that you can slide and it will change a value in your program. So, let me get these imports down really quick. We need I think three sets of imports. So, we need the, the abstract window toolkit import or ot the swing and then we're gonna need the swing event so x swing event there we go all right got that and just extends j frame like we always do all right so this program is gonna be pretty simple so I'm just gonna make two objects so j slider slider j label label basically what my program is gonna do is when you change adjust the slider, it's gonna say the value below it. So very straightforward. Alright, now our slider is equal to new J slider. And this is actually going to take four parameters. The first one is the orientation, so type in J slider dot um, we want horizontal orientation. And then the next parameter is the minimum value possible and that's going to be zero. Next one is a maximum value and I'm going to put 20 and then the fourth one is what it starts at and I want it to start at zero. And I almost forgot we need to have a layout. Uh, I think I'm just going to do flow layout. Uh, flow layout. Alright. Anyways. So, remember orientation, min, max, current, starting value. Got it? Alright. Now, these are just a couple things we got to do extra just to make it look better. So, type in slider dot set major tick spacing. And this thing you do is you going to have ticks uh, at increments of what we specify. So, I'm going to do five. So, it's going to have actually, um, it's going to have uh, every five integers from zero to twenty is going to have a tick. Or a little mark. You'll see. Notch, I guess you could call it also. And then, Next thing we have to paint these onto the screen, so just do slider dot set paint ticks and type in true. Alright. So and then add slider. Now I need a label, so label is gonna be a new J label. And at first it's gonna say current value or value and it's gonna be zero at first, just put in zero and then add label now make an event handling class or declare it so event e equals new e event and now we need to give our slider a um, change listener so slider dot add change listener e alright perfect so public um, class e event implements change listener um, public void. I th I think it's state changed change event e. I think I'm not really sure, but all right, yeah, it was. <sighs> all right, so. Anyways, what we did so far is we've declared a slider with these values. Um, it's got ticks on it. We've added it, made a label. It's empty. Yeah. So now. And then we get our slider at change listener uh, thing. <laughs> yeah, thing. All right. So now in our state change method, what do we want to happen when we slide the slider? Well, I want our our label to change our label to display what the slider is at. So I'm gonna make an integer called value, and it's gonna be equal to slider dot get value. So now our integer value is whatever our slider is currently at. And then label set text um current value and then put plus value. Alright? Perfect. Just like that. So Alright. And then uh 
Yeah, you should not do this by now. Alright, yeah, make sure you spell it wrong too. <laughs> Alright. Alright, here it is. So, it's our slider pro tram. And you see, it's got tick marks at 0, 5, 10, 15, and 20. Our min value is 0, and our current maximum value is 20. And when the thing spawned on the screen, it said 0 because our um, thing was current value was zero. You could change that if you wanted, but for simplicity's sake, I'm going to leave it at like that. So watch. Slide this. One, two, three, four. And then when I get to five, look where it's at. It's at the first tick mark right there. Slide it however you meant what you want. And anyways, this program just shows what a slider is. In the next pro uh, tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can um, use sliders in a much more efficient interesting manner and we're going to create <laughs> excuse me going to create a program that essentially you can use slider values to create a new color by choosing the RGB values so it's going to be pretty sick so make sure you tune in and yeah bye